Should this woman go to prison? That's the big question today. Now, I want to show you some amazing, shocking claims that this lady made at a public forum. But before I show you that and we judge whether or not she should be charged for this, here's what happened right before. Let's go to the surveillance footage just as she entered City Hall to make this speech. And you can see her and her husband. Her husband walks in first as they enter City Hall to go to this city council meeting. Her husband will make his way through the metal detector with no problem. She will walk through multiple times, and she will activate the metal detector every single time. So here we go. Here comes the husband. You're new. How you doing? I'm going to go around there. I'm not doing anything. Putting his stuff down. No problem. Her? The table's supposed to be over here, right? What's that? The table's supposed to be over here. Oh, and I'm going to go around. Um, try again? Again, she sets it off. Okay, so she said, oh, I have a metal brace on my leg. And now the officer's over there. He's waving the wand around to determine whether or not she has a metal brace on her knee. Uh, listen to the husband's response after this check of the knee brace goes on. She laughs. Okay, there you go. Now you've seen the footage, and now we're going to see her claims. And then I want to ask you if she should, she should be charged for being dishonest here. But note that she did laugh after this happened. He was kind of being strange about the whole thing, and in fact, trying to tell the cop how to do his job. The table should be over here. But they made their way into the uh, city commission hearing and she stepped up to the podium and here's her story about what you just witnessed while attending a meeting here at city hall coming through that metal detector as you probably noticed i can't walk very well i have a broken leg i had nothing on me except a t-shirt and a pair of leggings. It's very obvious I have a broken leg. The deputy that was out there put his hands on me, put his hands between my legs, and I have a history of trauma. That metal detector needs to go because you don't know how many people may have the same history I have that are walking through that door. This is very different from what we watched. Nobody but my husband, no man should ever be putting their hands on me or any woman or any man. So that was her claim about what happened. You watched it already. Do you think she's lying? Because I do. That didn't happen, and no person in their right mind would think that that was a correct way to describe what happened. The police officer, as you saw, used the wand on her leg. Then he even says, I'll play this for you again, uh, can I touch the brace or something, he asked. Oh, I have a metal brace on my leg. I can't touch my leg. Get your hands off my leg. Um, <laughs> she's laughing. Yeah, that's what it is. He sort of made it awkward, but come on. It's just absolutely clear that this wasn't some sort of sexual assault happening. And she really did uh, make the claims that it was. So now the uh, sheriff's office is saying that she should be charged. The early report said, Deltona woman says, deputy put his hands on me. Sheriff says it's a blatant lie. And now the Volusia sheriff is calling for the woman who accused the deputy of inappropriate touching to be charged. Here are the posts from Mike Chitwood, the sheriff. Today, the sheriff's office filed an affidavit with the state attorney's office charging Tammy Stuck, that's the woman, with one count of making a false official statement in a recent baseless allegation against a deputy. In my opinion, the clear falsehood at the heart of Ms. Stuck's sworn citizen complaint was blatant enough that the sheriff's office was more than justified in submitting a charging affidavit for review. It will be up to the state attorney's office to determine the next steps. So this woman is going to be possibly charged 
uh, for this. The sheriff's office was aware of this complaint weeks ago when the first of several emails arrived containing a multitude of allegations we soon found out were completely unsubstantiated. The emails claimed the deputy, quote, groped my wife tonight at a meeting at Deltona City Hall. He called the deputy a degenerate pervert and alleged the deputy, uh, what he did was assault on a disabled person without any provocation. And on and on they went with their claims against this. This is a blatant lie and a disgusting attempt to ruin a deputy's career. But don't worry, it's not like they're using the snap judgment here to do anything. Oh, Deltona may discard metal detectors. Almost two years after they were brought in to check everybody attending a city commission meeting, the days of metal detectors at Daytona City Hall may be numbered. Since July 2019, everyone, including elected officials, has been required to pass through the portals before entering the chambers. Deputies also use electromagnetic wands to scan visitors. Now, of course, they're saying it should go. Why? Because of this woman's claims about what happened or didn't happen when she entered this building. Now, she's got more to say, so let's go back to her. It, I just have no words of what happened. But it's time for that metal detector to go. I, I, I just don't know what else to say. Real victim. You would I believe her, right? Courthouse. I'm a guardian ad litem. I have never been touched going through the metal detector. It's just unacceptable. If you were just watching this, you would have probably believed her. You would have said, man, what happened to her? Let's get this guy. Everybody, let's get a mob together and go round this guy up. He was sexually assaulting her. It was a lie. It's very clear from watching the video. Here comes the husband. And yes, that was a very traumatic thing for her. I had to deal with for, oh, probably the first 10, 15 years of our marriage, her getting over what happened to her as a child. And to have that son of a bitch touch her the way he did, and because of his badge and his gun, I couldn't do a damn thing about it, and neither could she. I want you to think about that. Think about your mother or your sister. Professional victims, now, man. Moving on. Moving on. I mean, you can see. So now this is her, this is them leaving the uh, city commission meeting. And he's saying, "Don't put your hands on my wife ever again." Let me see your ID. He said to the cop. So then it goes on to all the, the, the city commissioners going one by one. Oh, my God, what a terrible and tragic event this was. Full investigation. We're going to do a full investigation and all of it for not because you've seen the footage now. What do you think should happen to this woman and her husband? Let's lump in him, him in, too, because they both know exactly what they're doing. They both know that they're being professional victims, that nothing happened here, that this guy wasn't being a pervert or copping a feel on the wife, that he was doing his job. His job was to make sure that nobody went through that medical uh, metal detector, rather, without him seeing what was setting it off. And he found out in this situation exactly what it was. Give me your thoughts, your comments on it. Should she be charged? Should he be charged? What should the punishment for this be? I'm interested in reading those, as always. If you like this video, please hit that share button to spread the message to some of your friends and get the word out there even more. If you're new around here to get a video just like this, something crazy happening in the news every single day that you can chime in on, follow along over at facebook.com slash the news junkie. Hit the follow button there or subscribe on YouTube, and we'll talk to you again real soon.